Good morning. Now, contrary to what I said on Twitter the other day, I did get an invite to Microsoft's Cloud Gaming Beta. And what you're looking at here is the Cloud Gaming Beta running on the new Edge browser on my PC. Now, it will also run in Chrome and presumably some other browsers as well. But as I say, I've got it running in the new Edge browser for the time being. And uh, I did have it running on my iPad this morning on iOS and uh, I was playing games using a Bluetooth controller and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment but for the time being let's just have a look at how it's laid out and as you can see here you've got Cloud Gaming Beta at the top and then you've got Search Games. Now Search Games you're going to need a keyboard for that and uh, as you can see here I can type in using my keyboard. Now <laughs> the interesting thing there is you will need a keyboard for the PC in order to do searches and things like that and to exit the games as well from what I could ca could gather. Uh, but you won't be able to use a keyboard and mouse in game, which is a bit of a pain in the neck. Now with iOS, you're going to need the virtual keyboard, but it all works fine and you can navigate through perfectly well. So as you can see here, as, as I say, you've got search games, so I could go in, I could do Halo. And it brings up all the Halo games, plus it brings up Shadow Warrior 2 for some reason. But um, yeah, you've got the Halo games come up when you do your search. So right off the bat, it's got a search and that's very useful. Uh, then you've got here on the right hand side you here, you've got Manage Account and Subscription, My Online Safety and all the rest of it. And uh, you've got Accessibility Options as well here. And then about, and it gives you some information you can sign out down the bottom here as well. So that's all pretty well laid out. And that's uh, pretty easy to use. The other thing I did was if you look at the top three, the top right hand corner here, the three little dots, if you go down to more tools, you can select. Now it's not showing here, so I'm just going to go across to Stadia because I've got a Stadia window loaded up as well. I haven't set this for Stadia, so I can show you. Press on the three little dots more tools and then if you look here pin to taskbar or pin to start now what i actually did was i pinned it to start and now i've in effect got an app that runs for the game streaming app if you look here cloud gaming now let's just load that up and i'll show you what i mean i've got the app up and there you go that's the app so once you've got it set up running like an app you can then work it from there and it all looks pretty much the same as well. It's not, a, you know, a great deal of difference. You've got the same stuff. There you go. You can do your search. But obviously, you can still need your keyboard. And that's pretty much it. I mean, as I say, it's all laid out pretty well. You've got Jump Back In. And these are games that you've already played. So there's a whole list of games that you've already played. And then you go down there. You've got Recently Added. So uh, as you can see here, you've got NLB The Show. <laughs> Sorry, PlayStation guys, I know you're not happy about that, but that's what you've got, an Octopath Traveler, which uh, I've not played yet, even though uh, I wanted to play it on the Switch. I don't think I bought it. And then you've got Leaving Soon, so that's quite handy. If there's any that uh, are leaving soon that you would like to play, you can also go in and purchase those. Then you've got All Games, and then if you go right the way down, you can select on All Games, and then it just gives you a whole list of them. And this, as you can see... A lot of games on here already, even though this is only a beta at this stage. And you can go back. And if you look here as well, just above all games, you've got different genres. So you've got classic, indie, family friendly, sports and racing, shooters, action and adventure, platformers, fighters and brawlers. And uh, just select classic briefly and you'll find a lot of the back compact games in this area. And uh, as you can see, you've got these games, some of the EA games here already, look. Um, so that's that. So that all runs pretty well. And to be fair, it runs pretty much like this on iOS as well. Like I say, the same thing with iOS. You can actually, you know, in effect, create an app. An app, sorry. Um, let me see. Uh, I actually took a screenshot of that. So let me just show you that now. This was when I was on iOS and uh, I was in uh, using the uh, Safari browser 
And, it, and, and the reason I was using Safari is because you can create an app from Safari or in, in effect create an app from Safari. So you go into Safari, you click on the top right hand corner here, and then you do add to home screen. And then on your iOS device, you'll just be able to click on it and it'll take you into Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta from there rather than having to go in and load up Safari every time. So it's the same idea, basically. So uh, let's just go back to the app that I created. And let me see. Go from there. Let's just go in and um, I'm going to just load up Dirt 5 briefly and see if it loads. Now, as I say, there's a good selection of games. It's got a good layout. It's very easy to set up and it's very easy to set it so you've got it like an app so you don't have to type in the address every time. And uh, it runs okay, but as I'm talking here, you're probably noticing that this is taking a little while to set up. That was actually not too bad. I tried to record this about 20 minutes ago and I actually couldn't get it to load. So that was my first issue with it. Um, bear in mind, like I say, this is his very early stages yet. This is very much a beta at this stage. So uh, we, we don't want to be reading too much into it as yet. But um, I actually then went in and I played Dirt 5 on iOS with my Bluetooth controller. And... Um, yeah, it wasn't great, to be honest. It was a little bit laggy. And if I'm being fair, this is no different to any other streaming service. And I've had this with game streaming as well on my Android phone. So, you know, we, we don't want to read too much into it, but uh, it, it wasn't fantastic. And this is one of the inherent problems with game streaming. Now... When I use my Xbox controller plugged in directly to my PC via USB, it did work a lot better. And this is why I'm loading up Dirt 5 now, because I actually found that Dirt 5 ran an awful lot better when I was running it on the PC. Simply, I think, and it's difficult to know, but simply because I was running it using a wired controller rather than a Bluetooth controller. And the the thing is, when you've got lag already, then anything else that in, you know increases that makes it more janky. And so I was finding this on iOS. I was finding using a Bluetooth controller was slowing things right down. And um, other than that, though, it worked pretty well. When, when I went in and I played Sniper Elite, that worked really well. Um, because that's obviously a much more slow-paced game and you're sort of lining up your sniping shots and all the rest of it. So that was okay. That played okay. But as I say, whether it be Xbox Cloud Gaming or whether it be Stadia or GeForce Now, any game that involves a lot of sort of twitch control and driving games, you know, let's be honest, just constantly twitching left and right to keep it on the road, it, yeah, it, it doesn't work quite as well. So anyway, let me just... Uh, we'll just briefly go into that. I'm not going to play the whole race, but let me just show you. It's uh, it's up and running. And uh, got the sound turned down, so that's weird. But uh, <laughs> you might be able to hear it, but I can't at the moment because I've stopped monitoring the audio. But yeah, I mean, you can see this isn't too bad. I can control it fairly okay. The, 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 the input lag's not, not too bad. I've actually taken the lead, so it can't be that bad at all. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get in the lead at all on this particular track with this particular car as well, because this car is really twitchy. Um, but yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're watching me play this game now, and I'm playing it you know, pretty well, and it's... it's uh, it's fun and if you know if i was maybe going away somewhere and i wanted to to play games on my phone or something <clears throat> excuse me i mean one thing i would do if i was going to be playing on my ios phone i would do what i've done with my android phone i actually got um a razor kishi for my android phone which is which plugs in and that cuts down some of the lags so that was uh that was something that worked a lot better for me when I when I was actually using a, a phone that was directly plugged in rather than a Bluetooth uh, 
sorry, a, a controller that was plugged in rather than a, a, a Bluetooth controller. And I would say if you're using an iOS device and you can get a, a controller that, that plugs in, then do that. You know, you get a USB controller or something like that that, that will work with it because the Kishi made a huge difference on my uh, Android phone. And as, as, I, as I say here, this is making a, a big difference playing this using a Xbox controller. And this is an Xbox One controller I'm currently using. Uh, as I understand it, the, the lag is the input lag on the new controllers is supposed to be less. But um, this plugged in via USB is playing pretty well. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. This is not too bad. And I'm talking as well. So the fact I'm managing to stay in the lead while talking is a, a, a minor miracle in itself. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll have a look at the graphics in a minute. When I, when I finish this, I'll, I'll have a look and, and play it back to myself and, and see what the graphics are like. But you'll have to decide for yourself what you think they look like. And obviously, you know, it's it's gone through an awful lot of compression and stuff on YouTube and I've had to capture it and, and all the rest of it. So it, it is going to affect it in, in that way. But um, I think this is, is perfectly playable. And, and I like my Microsoft's approach to this because they're not taking streaming as the, the primary way of doing things. This is just an add-on. And I like that. You know, I've got my Xbox for playing at home. This is just for when I'm out and about or, you know, if I've got a laptop with me, I could load this up. If it's a, a work laptop or whatever, it's not particularly powerful, then I could load this up and I could have a quick game when I'm when I'm out and about. You know, maybe if, I, you know, somebody's going to a conference or something or if they, you know, when E3's back up and running and people can visit, you go in to visit E3. I, look, you know, you can see here, I came first. I couldn't do that earlier on when I was playing on iOS, and I think all the difference there is basically a wired controller. And I know I'm going on about it, but yeah, I, I would say, above all else, if you can get a wired controller for this, then do so. That will make a world of difference. But yeah, look, you know, like I say, if you're out, you know, you say you've gone to E3 or you've, you know, you're a, somebody traveling for business. My, my partner travels for business all the time. She's not a huge gamer, but if she was, she could load this up on her laptop play it and she'd be able to carry on and the, and the great thing here and this is what's brilliant about microsoft and what i like about what's going on with, with this with their game streaming and the way they've integrated it into their whole system is when i go back to my xbox now i'm going to load up this game a dirt five and i'll load up dirt five and i'll carry on right from where i left off so this race that I've just done is done now. I've done it. I mean, I can go back and play it again if I want to, but my progression will be remembered. My saves will be remembered. So whether I'm playing on the cloud, whether I'm playing on my Xbox, next time I go in, I'll see this exact same screen. And my next race will be Ultra Cross South Africa. So I really like that aspect of the way Microsoft are doing things. And I like the fact that you've got the option to download and play your games on PC, on your Xbox, or you can stream them. It'd be interesting to see if you can actually stream <laughs> Microsoft game streaming <laughs> using <laughs> Edge browser on the Xbox. I might have to have a look at that because that'd be a bit of fun because you don't need it, but it'd be uh, good. Let's uh, just uh, yeah, the game, whatever. Uh Quick start, short session. It, it doesn't feel that responsive. Yeah, it feels responsive enough. Controls were okay. I'm not going to say that, though. User interface is awesome. I think the user interface is one of the best things about it. And, uh, yeah, it feels like a very complete system already. And I know, you know, I'm wittering on a bit here because, uh, you know, I was playing the game and all the rest of it. But yeah, it works really well. I mean, the fact that you can set it up as an app and just run it from your desktop, and you can do that with iOS as well. The fact that it's uh, fairly sharp to load, that you you know you've got your saves traveling across with you. I like it. I like it. And as I say, it's early days. I at the, at the moment I am not really enjoying it, playing it on iOS because I'm having to use a Bluetooth controller, and that wasn't fun at all. Um, you know, your experiences may vary. And, and if you have a good experience using a Bluetooth controller 
on iOS? Let me know in the comments because, you know, it'd be interesting to hear what other people you know, have to say. Because, I, you know, I've got a pretty decent internet connection, so I would expect it to run okay. And the only difference really between running on my PC, I know PC and I, iOS are different, but the main difference there was the controller. Same type of controller, but one of them was connected up wired on the PC. The other one was connected up wirelessly on the iOS device on my iPad. So, um, yeah, sorry, I'm wittering on a bit now. Anyway, I'm going to stop because uh, I'm going to probably have a little bit more of a play with this. But, um, yeah, I'm done. Let me know what you think of this in the comments and give me a thumbs up and uh, check out some of my other videos as well, because I've done other videos about streaming services and various other things. And if you're interested in those, check them out. But for now, I'm done and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.